all right guys so um there's just some things i wanted to uh, go over uh, and talk about the update 6.0 so uh, i don't know if you guys have been, have been following at all or keeping tabs on what the console dev team has been up to um but they've streamed on twitch the last couple days uh talking about the the, the fixes they're adding to the update uh, and it's just, it, it hasn't helped. Um, I haven't personally played the game, but from what I've heard, it, it's not the fixes that they need. Um, and the streams have just made it worse and made it very, very, very clear uh, that they have no interest in listening to their community uh, about this update. And that doesn't mean entirely. They are listening about smaller things, smaller fixes, like they're going to change the blue-purple to red-green. Um, which is good, in my opinion, because what we have now is not good. Uh, but it needs more. And there are a lot of things uh, still still wrong with this update. The update was clearly, as well, what these streams have showed is this update was rushed. Uh, they, it's their biggest update in forever, and they clearly rushed it. Uh, Pain God talked about a lot of bugs that were in the game that never should be in a game and should never have made it out of development stage um, like that have cost players gold and, and, and currency uh, as well as a bug where premium time wasn't starting I don't even know how that happens but premium time wasn't starting so you had premium days but it wasn't actually applied they were just there uh, as well as a, a whole host of, of other bugs and with this uh, with these streams, the, the Twitch chat has been overwhelming uh, with demands to revert the game back to where it was, uh, bring everything back, undo the, this update, which has uh, clearly upset the vast majority of the World of Tanks console community. And um, not only is the Twitch chat very vocal about it, but it's gotten so vocal to to the point where they have it on slow mode. Uh, they had it on slow mode to start the first stream. Uh, it was a 10 second slow mode, but they had to turn it up to a 30 second slow mode because the chat was flooded with uh, people complaining and wanting the update to be reverted. And the devs uh, seemingly showed zero attention to all those claims, or uh, all those requests. And on the forums as well, they have not uh, been listening to the community uh, they've been ignoring all the requests to reverse the game. Uh, there's been one response, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, so on the forum as well, um, a user uh, put up a poll uh, asking if people like this update. And as of the time of recording this, 92% uh, of the community says they do not like this update uh, and the second question of the poll was would you like the update to be reversed and 90% of the community almost 91% said yes they want this update reversed and now following it up I'm going to show you a screenshot uh, from Liam who is the uh, community liaison uh, he, he doesn't have any control in what happens with the update so do not go after him you can ask him questions if you'd like and he will answer you um, but he responded with this, uh, and what that is pretty much saying is uh, that they are not considering uh, rolling back the update, and they just want to adjust and fix what they have released. And um, honestly, I find that pretty disgraceful on Wargaming's part. Uh, the fact that they rolled out this update, and they're asking for community feedback and the overwhelming feedback uh, from uh, from this update is negative and asking them to please undo what you've done bring back the game uh, that everyone liked and everyone loved uh, and they're just completely ignoring that part of it and not willing to do it is saddening, uh, saddening. Um, and it doesn't give me hope for the future of this game. Um, as well as all that, the the poll and everything, there's been lots of uh, 
lots of outcry on Twitter I've seen. Uh, the reason I found this poll is because of Twitter. Vanilla Oprah on Twitter uh, shared it. That's how I ended up seeing it. And I'm glad I saw it. I was able to voice my opinion. That The, the link to this um, poll will be in the description and is in the description of my last video. Um, as well. As well with these Twitch streams, something that really bothers me um, is the opening of this Twitch stream. Uh, I'll put the video up on, on the screen overlaying this replay that I'm showing you guys from the, the new Italian Heavy. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll overlay it. This is the intro video from the old game. This is the intro video that we're used to when starting up all the tanks. <coughs> and the video that's no longer there, and the video that is a reminder of the old game. And they're still using that to start and end their live streams. Um, I, don't, I don't know how or why they're doing that, because that's not the game that you are streaming about anymore. This is a different game. Um, as well, as I said, with the, the lack of, of acknowledgement uh, of the hatred towards this update from the community, uh, they've also just been, like I said, blatantly ignoring the cries to please undo it. Um, they said they were watching streams, or Pain God said he was watching streams of people that were loving the new commander features and, and having a lot of fun going through all their commanders, and that's just complete bullshit. Um, excuse my language, it's complete bullshit because I know nobody that is happy going through 200 commanders. Um, putting nine skills back on uh, each and every one of their crews. I don't really see how anyone's having fun with that. I haven't seen anyone having fun with it. I've, I've only seen negatives about it. Um, yeah, so that's really it as well as something else I want to show you. Like I said, I've played maybe three games of this new World of Tanks or Armored Warfare, War Thunder, love child whatever this is now um, but apparently a lot of the stuff that uh, a lot of the new perks or skills and the way the consumables work you can break certain tanks in terms of like DPM and stuff uh, I'll, I'll show a video once this replay is completed I'll, I'll talk about it um, but apparently you can get the T92 down to a 27 second reload, the tier 10 artillery, 27 seconds. I, I don't see how that's fair, and the devs have talked about how they haven't seen any increase or anything in, um, in average damage per battle over a one day period, or they haven't seen any win rates increases, blah blah blah, but from what I'm hearing from people playing the game, uh, is that artillery has become even more broken than it already was because um, now the reels can get even shorter and uh, more accurate as well as low tier tanks like the Matilda which I'll show right now um, absolutely destroying the low tier matchmaking because of these skills and consumables uh, allowing you to get a one second reload on that Matilda gun um, which anyone who's aware of the Matilda knows it's overpowered already, but it has absolutely destroyed low tier matchmaking. Um, I'll put the link to this video in the description if you want. Uh, I'll give credit to the guy who uploaded it. He left a comment on my last video, so thank you uh, for showing me that. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much else to really say about it, other than the devs clearly aren't on board with going back on what they've done and um, uh, as of now it looks like what they've done is going to be World of Tanks uh, moving forward and uh, I don't want to be a part of it and um, it really is a shame that a game like that um, ends like this so yeah um, that, that's all covering World of Tanks today um, before I end this video, I just want to say I want to thank you guys so much for all the support you've given me um, since releasing that last video uh, at the time of recording this. Um, that video is at 
3.7k views uh, with about 440 likes and that is definitely my most successful video ever uh, so thank you guys for that uh, and I've been trying to read all your comments but about 250 of them so I'm still working on it but uh, thank you guys and it's a it's a real shame that the, uh, the circumstances um, that this video had to come under as well as you guys have I, I gained almost 100 subscribers from this um, I've broke 300 which I want to thank you all for I really appreciate it and again I really wish the circumstances uh, were different uh, for the way that I, I I've been having this recent success um, so yeah uh, that's it for today guys uh, th like I said thank you all for your support thank you all for watching uh, I'm gonna keep watching these dev streams every day uh, keep seeing what they're talking about these fixes that they want um, and yeah thank you for the support and I will uh, I'll see you in the next video